Blues Traveler is a band that dated back all the way to the late 80s and hit mainstream popularity by the middle of the 90s. They would become best known for their songs Hook and Runaround. By the 2000s, the band was no longer on a major label and they would release records on a variety of indie labels. Led by frontman John Popper, he didn't look the part. In fact, he was the antithesis of what people thought a rock star was. And people were even more surprised by his shocking 2007 arrest. Stay tuned for the full story. In 2007, stories spread online that John Popper and his manager had been arrested in Washington State for speeding on Interstate 90 near Ritzville, going 111 miles per hour. State troopers arrested Popper's manager for reckless driving, and they also smelled pot and arrested the singer for possession. The state troopers then searched the vehicle and found a cache of weapons stashed in hidden compartments within the car. The troopers recovered a total of 14 weapons, including a switchblade knife, nine handguns, and four rifles. And it didn't end just there, as the vehicle also contained a taser and night vision goggles. In addition to that, Popper's car was equipped with flashing emergency lights, a siren, and an external public address system. Now it's important to note that all of the firearms found by the state troopers in Popper's vehicle were legally obtained, registered, and stored in a manner that complied with state laws. So where was Popper going and why was he packing so much heat? And why did he have so many modifications to his car? Well, the Blues Traveler frontman and his manager were driving back home after visiting Austin, Texas, and the pair liked to visit gun ranges during long road trips. Popper is an avid gun enthusiast and told troopers he collected weapons and had so many rifles and modifications to his vehicle because he wanted to be prepared in the event of a natural disaster. He would tell Glide magazine following his arrest, I wanted to build a Batmobile in my car. And the real answer I tell people is that if there's an earthquake, people are getting the F out of my way. But I didn't want to say that to a cop. Popper and his manager were charged with possession of a controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. The possession charges were a misdemeanor in Adams County. And Popper was also facing federal charges for possessing a vehicle with hidden compartments. A Washington State Patrol spokesperson put out a statement to the press following the arrest saying, The sheer amount of weapons and the modifications to the vehicle are not something we see every day. The misdemeanor charge related to pot possession was eventually dropped against Popper as long as he avoided getting caught for at least another year. These kinds of agreements are pretty common in misdemeanor drug cases in the county. The whole ordeal would cost the singer $16,000 to get his car back according to the same interview he gave to Glide magazine. And he would also reveal a funny story of what happened the next day, telling the publication, The next day I got into a limo to go to the airport and there's a 44 Magnum in the back seat because the limo driver wants to sell it to me. So I got to the airport and everyone's looking at me like they caught me doing something very wrong. So here I am famous for something that I wasn't even trying to be famous for. Bottom line, you don't do 111 miles per hour, you just don't do it, he'd say. So that does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. We'll see you again on Rock and Roll True Story sticker.